Hello everybody and welcome back to Cocker Place 60 Seconds. Welcome back to our merry little shelter. We're surviving the bombs and whatnot. Yeah, toxic wasteland that is outside. It's a new run, it's day seven. In our previous run, Dad went skeleton. Stupid dad. And Dolores was kidnapped. Which is fucking annoying. The Timmy was sick like hell, so guess we, we perished. I mean, I saw Timmy. Timmy was still alive. But the game said we perished, and I guess we perished. Our neighbor heard the radioactive. Mary Jane didn't utter a single word today. This is very odd. Maybe someone should find out what's gone on with her. Seriously, what kind of parents are you? This is like 3x3 three three shelter, and you haven't spoken to her the whole day. Where's the broken little pattern. Nothing solves problems better than an honest conversation over a hot beverage. We don't have the latter. But taking loans seems to talk in alone seems to do the trick. Mm-hmm. Alteration is blast no. Still highly radioactive, fine. Mary Jane has been dripping dripping. Drop <laughs> she has been dripping. <laughs> Dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. We had to think about it hard. After eliminating your average festivities, the anniversary of that great barbecue, but three years ago, International Popcorn Day, that's a good one, we realized that she was talking about her birthday. That means we need to get her a gift. So, basically, either we give her cards, or we give her a box spray. Um, I think for a child her age, cards would be better than a box spray. And she can hurt herself with a box spray. I'm pretty sure there's a skeleton head in that box spray and... Fucking hell, what kind of parents would give that to a child? Mary Jane loves cards. We thought she might get herself busy with solitaire, but she started doing card readings. Divination or not, if you don't figure out why the world has gone to hell, maybe she will. Good. Good. Ah, uh, that's not very she splice. Looks like the RST radiated man. Uh, What's, what's that sound? Oh no, something or someone is below us. Uh, let's check it out with an axe. What could possibly go wrong, right? Day 10. Wow, well, that is... Oh, we got... We got ah! We found, we found treasure down there! Pills, bottles, and our medical supplies were stacked on a few shelves down in a narrow room. Just enough to stock our first aid kit. Good for us, we didn't find the source of the noise. So now we can actually save Ted if he gets sick again, and he won't go to skeleton Ted, which would be annoying. Let's give you something to drink. Termination is still strong. We were discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup, when we heard yells outside. We discovered that it came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were a sorry sight and we weren't surprised when they requested aid. Asked us to provide anything we could, water, food, or medical supplies. I'm gonna give you a can of food because I'm a good person. Looks like we have loads. Day 11. Did you get something for it? No. Bastard. Visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed, smiles and hugs exchanged. They wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to be helping someone out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out there. Make it out there. Why is your stomach rumbling, Ted? Why is such a pig? I just fed you. Fucking hell. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we could just get out and leave? Maybe to Toronto. Walk the surface like we used to. Smell the fumes and perdition. Oh, that would be sweet. That would be fucking sweet. They talk. Oh. Oh. Uh, Mary Jane, what the hell? Mary Jane's sick. Mary Jane's died with this little food. Mary Jane contracted an illness. Ugh. God damn it. I guess it could heal her. Condemnation is too strong. We can keep sitting on our backsides. Yada yada yada. We don't have a radio. So, fuck that. Can't do anything with it. I think I'm. Oh. Is Dolores sick as well? Uh, Dolores... Um, where is that? Dolores got eaten. Yay. 
is we gonna heal? Let's heal her. I think she's more important than Mama. Combination is too strong. I'll have to send Ted out very soon. What's the trickling sound? And why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? No, uh, we don't have life preservers for a boat. But it wouldn't even fit inside a shutter. Yeah, oh shit. We need to do something. Save the supplies. Last time we set our map, it saved the cards now because that's what we gave to Mary Jane for her birthday. No one wants her birthday to get ruined. And we don't have this anymore. Our map is all tatters. You can fix it. Right. We are all about surviving poker games. It wasn't surprising we went after our lucky set of cards first. Not seeing the card got wet, but plenty of other supplies were submerged. After a while the water level dropped, but the damage it did was quite extensive. We'll have to deal with that. Um yeah. We're gonna deal with that. We don't have uh, stuff. The RST irradiated me. There's never a good time to go out in the radioactive wasteland. It seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. I thought it would be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later. Plan a trip outside. Before we could make the third step beyond the shadow doors, an unknown creature started growling at us in the darkness. We had only moments to decide what to do. So let's use the bug spray because we don't have anything else. That's all we can do. Alright. Is she sick again? Yeah. Really. Sick killing spray can wipe out any mutated mosquito as well as the creatures that lurk in the shadows. It didn't bother us again. Good. Mary Jane contracted from illness. Fucking hell. Let's feed you all. There we go. We have two ill person now. You know what? We'll, we'll have to send Ted out to start scavenging. Hopefully today. A group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking our hatch is not something that we anticipated. This is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they are merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We are pretty poor, so maybe we could make some new friends? Could you let them in? I have no idea. This sounds like a... This sounds like a good bunch of people. They are merry men after all. I guess they have a Robin Hood with them. And we are not rich, so if they take something from us, it's gonna be bad for them. Because... I don't know why, but it would be... I think... Did they take some... Oh, they gave us radio! Look at that! Those merry folks are very kind. You notice we didn't have a radio, so offered us one. We asked where they got it from, they said the 1%. Oh, they stole from the rich. That's, that's good. Dolores is not eating for a while. You're shitting me, Dolores. You just ate. That's just stupid. It's a good day to go outside. Let's send Ted outside. Why the hell not? Maybe he'll die. Go. Ted is gone. We have two sick personas here. It's not good. They're, they are hungry. Both of them. They are sick. Both of them. As long as we have food and water, we can stay locked in. We'll have to leave eventually. So let's, yeah, let's use the radio. Maybe we can make some contact with the military. Oh yes, indeed. Maybe. Let's see what happened. Made contact! The military is out there and they're coming for us. Yeah, you think. All we need to do now is wait patiently. The soldier with the boring voice was very specific about this. Happy is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Um, I think I'm gonna feed them just because they're sick and they might die on me. Yeah, I don't want that to happen just now. Right? Right. There we go. There we go. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions, or at least listen to some reasonable answers. Let's use the radio again. See how useful the fucking radio is? You can call and you can talk. It's day 20, we're still alive. Let's see what we heard. We we're able to get a weak signal and tap the government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! Great news, everyone! I fixed the poison slam pipes! Fallout outside has mostly gone, it should be much safer to travel on the surface now. Oh, that's good. Hopefully, Ted's gonna be fine. Here goes my timer. 
Fuck off, Tanya. We need medical supplies and what we have is a bad joke. Time to do something about it. That bug spray is just standing there and why don't we use it to make drugs? Oh man, this is an amazing idea! Why not make medicine from a bug spray that have a skeleton head on it which usually meant danger, poison? Don't use, don't put in your mouth and we're gonna make meds from it. Are you fucking kidding me? This this game, this this is just too much for me. This this logic, fuck it. Day 21. I'm gonna finish this episode here. Look at this. We don't have bug spray anymore, and we have medical <laughs> supplies now. Wow, this is just crazy. This is just crazy. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please subscribe, share, like, do magic. I'll see you next time. Coco out.